What we have here is a luxury curry from Iceland. And you'd think, by looking at the box, you know, you was getting a lot of food for your money. Until you open it, then you realise that there's not actually that much in there. You know, it's quite shallow. So they've put 400 grams of food into a big container to make us think we're getting more for our money. Regardless, let's see what the spicy chicken bolty is all about. So we have cooked seared tikka marinated chicken breast pieces in a spicy bolty sauce. Investment bankers can oven bake theirs for 45 minutes. Me, I'm gonna microwave it for eight minutes, 30 seconds. So here it is my friends, straight out of the microwave. Cooperative lid. Okay, let's get a bit closer to this thing. So this is what 400 grams of Balti looks like in a dish. It's got this quite thick sauce with onions and peppers in there. It has a nice colour, kind of rusty orange. And swimming around in that sauce, making up 35% of these lumps of chicken breast. And we can see from here, a little bit of char grilled action. Okay, let's open one up, see what it's like inside. Nice clean interior. And the outside does look slightly marinated. Let's check the mush factor. Yeah, a nice piece of solid chicken. Nothing reformed here. As you can see, the prongs did not want to go through it, which is great, because it's left this trilobite on the fork. The ingredients list tells us that there are tons of herbs and spices in this thing. And if you look closely, we can see them dotted throughout. It's all looking very well from this angle, and the smell coming off it is mildly spicy. So I can't wait to get involved. I'm gonna try a big dollop of sauce first. Right, here we go. Oh yeah, the sauce is nice. It's got a lovely balance of flavors with all those herbs and spices. It's pretty much immaculately seasoned as well. It's a little bit creamy and you can feel some heat picking up right here. Okay, time for a large mouthful of breast. Pretty good, yeah. Wasn't massively juicy, but there's no gnarly bits in there. You can just about taste that tikka marinade as well. I've got one here with no sauce on it, so I'm just gonna try that. Yeah, you can taste the marinade. It's subtle, but it's a nice flavor. Does it taste like chicken tikka from the restaurants? Nah, it's nowhere near as funky as that one. The onions and peppers add a nice bit of sweetness as well. And there's a little bit of crunch, but you can't really taste them individually because that sauce is so flavorful. Might be a bit difficult to see, but on the spoon there, dripping off the end there, a bit of oil, a bit of oily action, but that's okay because takeaway curries generally have that in them. As a code on plant with that thing, I got through all the chicken with no gnar whatsoever. So the chicken's good and that heat does build up. So just be mindful of that. It's kind of a very, 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 very low end madras. So there is some heat in there. I would say that it's similar to a curry house a Balti. And I think the packaging is a little bit too much. But we'll give it eight out of 10 to last bite. Mm. So Iceland, a luxury, spicy chicken Balti. A nice effort, Iceland, thank you. And I do appreciate the fact that it says spicy on there. And it is actually spicy in the mouth. Will it try more from that range? Most certainly. Anyway, thanks for coming. Until next time, get out of here. Oh, what is that? Oh, bolty sauce. Oh, for goodness sake.
Oh, for God's sake, will you focus? Might be. 